Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at the messages you need to hear now. Any information that you may be looking for will be listed in the description. If you also would like to see future readings from me, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button at any point in this reading if you do enjoy it. All right, so first part we have Scorpios. It, said in, it says, excuse me, instead of trying harder, try differently. So if there is something that you're trying to build, that you've been working on a relationship, a business, family relationship, um, your overall quality of life, instead of maybe trying the same way, there may be a need for adjustments in your perspective, adjustments in your like actions or the people that you have around you. There may be a need for a switch up. So. That's why change is a beautiful thing because it allows us to expand essentially or to grow beyond one point of being or one way of having things uh, be presented in our lives. So instead of maybe trying to push something ahead, maybe there's some sort of change that needs to be implemented. We also have old habits that no longer serve need reviewing. So Scorpios, you guys have been being shown constantly what habits need to die hard because they could be you know stopping you from being your best potential or they could be imposing on your ability to focus on the good habits that you want to integrate so this is the perfect time for you to replace old habits bad habits with better habits and I think a lot of you have been in the space of reviewing certain habits that you have to where it's like you know exactly what it is if you just made those changes, made those adjustments, you would see progression. We also have listen to your intuition and then listen again. So if your intuition is telling you, you can tell when your intuition is talking to you. It's something you feel in your gut. It's something that you feel there where it's like, oh, I got a gut feeling something's not right. I got a gut feeling that this may not be for me. It's important that you're listening to that and not ignoring that for the sake of just kind of like pushing forward with things. Because it always becomes one of those situations where it's like, why well, not listen? Okay, so we also have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So, hold on, I'm going to pull two more. Scorpios, what messages do they need to hear now? We got the Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands in reverse. So, it's important that you know that your opportunity is not gone or you're not at the point of things being just completely done for you especially in the realm of career some of you could be like in this space where you really think that you've reached a point of not really being able to excel or grow beyond where you're at which is not true a lot of you could be needing to transcend though where you're working at or the way that you're showing up. Because with the Ace of Wands reverse, this does talk about um, maybe not enough effort or energy being poured into something or us losing a level of motivation. So Scorpios, it's important for you to stay motivated. You may be someone who needs to have like constant understanding of what the purpose of what you're doing is for. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just you need to constantly remind yourself and you need to surround yourself with people who also are a constant reminder of what you're working towards. Um, also, when it comes to feeling energetically drained by someone, it's time for you to let the situation be a done, done deal. OK, especially if it is draining you to a point where every other area in your life is now um, slowed down or you're not showing up the way that you would like to. Also have the Page of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. So if you do have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius individual around you, uh, in regards to the Zodiac sign, to be honest, it really doesn't matter. But if you have someone around you and you're telling them your ideas, your plans, and they're trying to talk you out of that, or they're trying to get you to self-sabotage by giving you bad advice, you need to reassess who you're telling your ideas to. If anything, any plans that you have, make sure you're not telling anybody who has something negative to say, um, to talk you out of, like I said, doing what's best for you. Only you will know what you need to do. Also, communication does need to improve between you and... Mm, this, this is... 
is not mutually exclusive. This isn't exclusive to relationships, but when it comes to communication during this time frame, be mindful of people who just want to argue and be mindful of you also having moments where you have certain gripes with certain individuals. And instead of like the focus on getting to a point of resolution, there's a focus on the argument or the issue itself to where it's not getting resolved. Okay, let's pull from here. Scorpios, what messages do they need to hear right now? So we have follow the leader. So this card is all about taking the lead, taking initiative and walking on your own path. Okay, every life is teaching, excuse me, every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are examples to those around you. You're being called to lead others by example. Your wisdom has been earned as a result of your bravery and the adventure of your life. The experiences of battles won and lost, places discovered, tears shed, and joy revealed have, have placed you in a unique position to be a service of others. Your suffering has been crystallized into a talisman of wisdom. Now you must share it, be fully authentic, and you'll lead others into the light. You'll be required to divulge some things about your past so that you may help someone else. Lead with love. There's all, another message here as well. Look to those with great character and accomplishments you admire. Emulate the leaders you respect. You will then turn, you will then in turn have more to offer. Sorry for reading like that. We also have strength. So Scorpios, this says your true strength comes from self-reliance alone, but from a sincere faith in a higher power. Or excuse me, your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone. The strength to accomplish even the most daunting task is yours at this time. You can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off course of evolution. As the potency of your connections becomes more obvious, you're able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Have courage and dive in for the magic is in the process of finding a form to take. Will you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on higher power working through you? All is possible. You can do anything now. And we also have heal the ouch. So let's see. It says forgiveness is the healer of the soul. This is a time for a great soothing of the heart, body, soul, and mind. As this card indicates that healing will be prevalent in your, in your life now. If you feel drawn to study the healing arts, you will be successful in developing your natural capacity to restore others to wellness. However, this message may be that you're being called to change your behaviors in order to heal the earth. Perhaps switch to a cruelty-free diet, eating less meat, or perhaps you're paying more attention to how much water or electricity you use. You're asked to be conscious of your footprint on the sacred earth and all of life and to commit to the healing path. The heal the ouch card must or may, excuse me, may also be an indicator of old wounds and broken bonds being mended. Reconciliations are possible now. Let bygones be bygones. So these are the messages for you, Scorpios. I hope that this did give you insight on what you need to hear. If you would like to see future readings, make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next one.